Now to your community focus. The 2022 election is in the rearview mirror, but preparation for the next election is already underway, and that includes cleaning up the state's voter rolls. Joining us live via Zoom for an update on that process is recently inaugurated Rhode Island Secretary of State Greg Amore. Secretary, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Ted. So your office announced today that you just finished removing about 60,000 names from the voter rolls in Rhode Island. Can you briefly explain what the process is for doing that, for cleaning this up? Sure, these were previously inactive voters and we, they were identified as inactive when they got official uh, elections mail, in this case, uh, predominantly uh, absentee ballot, mail ballot uh, applications. They were returned to the department and those voters go on an inactive list and then if they don't vote in the next two consecutive federal elections, they're removed from the voter list. So 60,000, is that a lot in your view? Is that kind of what you would expect with this sort of thing? Because you said the pandemic played a part here. Yeah, no, it's significantly higher than the normal amount because we did send those mail ballot applications to every registered voter in Rhode Island during the pandemic. So this is a this is a high number, uh, even though the process uh, goes on every two years, this is a significantly higher number. So I wanna take a look at the current voter registration numbers in Rhode Island after the update that you've put through, and, and let's take them up on the screen. As of this month, your office says about 325,000 Rhode Island voters are registered as unaffiliated, 45% of all voters, that is, in no party. 296,000 are registered Democrats, that's about 41%, and 100,000 are registered Republicans, that's about 14%. So. To Tell us, I know you just got into the job about a month ago, but what are the trends with those three groups in recent years in terms of who's registering where? Those those are remarkably consistent, uh, Ted. We've gone back uh, over a decade to look at those numbers in the process of taking this, this office. Remarkably consistent. We saw a little uptick in uh, between 20 and 21 in Republican registration went up 2%. Um, there's been little upticks in the unaffiliated, but remarkably steady. It is pretty wild considering the drama of politics in recent years. Uh, all right, well, to wrap it up, I, we might have viewers watching who vote in every single election. We might have viewers watching who only vote once in a while. They might hear this and get a little nervous. Will my name be there next time, uh, next time an election comes up? What should people be doing to make sure their registration's up to date? So you can go to uh, vote.ri.gov or risos.gov and check on your voter, uh, voter status. Uh, you can make changes to it as well. Uh, if you've had an address change, uh, any change you want to uh, reaffiliate, um, you, can, you can do that. And you can also go to your local canvassing authority, your city or town hall, and speak with the folks there, and, and they'll make any adjustments and give you information as to whether or not you are an active voter. And we'll continue to provide those details when we get a little closer to the next election. Secretary of State Greg Amore, thanks for joining us live at 4. Happy to be here. Thanks, Ted.